Hello, everybody. This is Professor Alan Barrell speaking to you from Cambridge, and I welcome you to Cambridge. And I'm speaking on behalf of the Cambridge Learning Gateway and also Dr. Clark Liu and the Britain China Cultural Communication Center. And we are inviting you to consider sending Chinese high school students to enjoy a special online cultural and intellectual experience with us here, which will be delivered from the ancient city of Cambridge, which is a great center of innovation and research. And it is now home to a world-class cluster of technology companies. I'm very fortunate to live in these tranquil surroundings, wonderful countryside around me, and in the center is Cambridge. And in Cambridge is the university. And this is the great gate at Trinity College, founded in the 14th century. And there's some information here that I ask you to look at after my talk, because we don't have time to discuss the detail, but it's a reminder that in Cambridge, we have 31 wonderful colleges, many of them ancient, like Trinity, some of them new, dealing with all subjects in the curriculum. And of course, Cambridge has many international partners and connections, not least in China. And here's a picture of the River Cam flowing through King's College, which is on the right. And a reminder that we have more than 800 years of academic excellence and art as well as science. We do wish that one day you can visit our beautiful city. Cambridge always welcomes students, teachers and families. And this is a picture of the Bridge of Sighs at St. John's College. And you can enjoy a lovely time on the river when you come here. Just a little more information about myself, because I will be the academic director of any programs that you participate in with your students. And I'm very, very privileged to have been honored by our queen. You can see her in the picture with her husband uh, awarding me an enterprise award for my work with young people. And the other picture is in Finland, where the Finnish premier was very, very kind to give me a special medal and a knighthood for my work in education. I am a medical scientist. I'm a researcher, businessman. Uh, I am a family man. I have four children and eight grandchildren of my own. And I love China very much. I have been there many times. And I am privileged and honored to be a professor in Chinese universities. So. <clears throat> an introduction to the program that we would like to deliver for your students to inspire them in the Cambridge class of 2021. There will be online lectures and workshops. Of course, the teachers will be available beyond that. Cultural and intellectually stimulating topics like innovation and inspiration, critical thinking, leadership, interpersonal skills and teamwork, the future of work, very important sub subject, the impact of artificial intelligence and machine learning, the environment, sustainability, technology, health and wellness, and personal achievement to encourage the young people to think about their role in society. Our study tasks will be set <clears throat> for individuals and we will also work with them in teams and they will have project work. They will prepare and present project work, which they will present to a panel, and we will give them personal coaching and assessments for all of those that take part. And there will be visits and interaction to a very interesting Cambridge school. And of course, we can do follow up after they get back home and we can answer their questions by email. So all that we do will be conducted in a spirit of international collaboration, embracing worldwide issues, and very much respecting and valuing our visiting students as citizens of tomorrow's world. I'm showing you a picture here of a high school student group that um, I hosted last year at Gonville and Keyes College 
in Cambridge, and it's one of many that we have welcomed over the years. Here is the man who gave us the wonderful World Wide Web, and I show his picture to emphasize to you that we will be using communications technology very creatively in this program. And we will emphasize the value of human connectedness and connectivity. And we will certainly encourage challenging questions and creative debate and discussion. We want to enable our students to think about, learn from history and achievement. This is the great Albert Einstein. And he said this, imagination is more important than knowledge. And we want our students to be imaginative. We also want them to think about entrepreneurship, something very important in China today, I know. We will encourage the entrepreneurial spirit. This great man was a writer and he one day talking to a boring young man said these words. He said, hey, Young man, you look at things and ask why, but I dream of things that never were and ask why not. And we believe that the why not people, the ones that ask questions, are those that will change the world. And Bernard Shaw was a great writer. So we will bring Cambridge close to participating students. We will connect with local teachers and coaches and we will provide individual mentoring and advice. And we will explore the Cambridge colleges some pictures of some of them here for you. Jesus College, a dining room at Magdalen College, Downing College in the city center, Newnham College, one of two colleges exclusively for women students, and there are many more. We do also, of course, have modern colleges. This is the Muller Conference Center at Churchill College, and there's a lot of up-to-date buildings as well as old ones in Cambridge. And we will discuss art and design and culture, as well as history, science and technology. And our program will be focused on the personal development and interpersonal skills of the students that you send us. We will connect and interact with a leading independent school and its teachers. The school we are working with is the Lee School, right at the heart of the city of Cambridge, my grandsons have been there recently themselves. It's a wonderful progressive and co-educational school, and it has an international student population. And we will enable visits and interactions during the time we are working with our students, even if we can only at the moment do it online. The Lees is 10 minutes walk from King's College and very close to the riverbank. I want to show you this picture because we have promoted happiness for many visiting groups for China, including those that come with their families. We've had family groups here for online programs, and we would love to do many more. So it's been a very great pleasure meeting you for this short talk. Thank you for listening. We are always here to provide more information. We would like to understand your special needs. We would like very much to design a program which was for your students particularly. So please keep in touch and let us know what more we can do for you. Thank you and goodbye for now.